Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Told you that. Uh, Chitty. Now listen carefully. You're never to see me. Oh. Never. You're not to play with Chetty. Fifty years of work. Open smoke. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck.
Don't you look at me. Hey. Ball! <laughs> Fiddlesticks! from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Out like shit in a blow. Uh, hey now. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. like that. Don't let us talk to strangers. <laughs> what happened to your mug? Lost his boots in the rush. Something. But Tosley said he'd not give his dog this water. Not with so many corpses rotting in it. 
Sure to be poison. Sure? Not so sure. Who knows? Will you go to the well in Cobble instead? Not on your life. Something you jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. My gran told me about Smithboard. Do you ready me? But Wallace will never believe it. What is this? Don't be unreasonable. Tracks lead back to the village. Gotta be him. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. Why not talk to a non-human? Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they fall. Listen. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your f Try me, peasant. I could use the practice. <clears throat> I give up! Damn it! You broke my nose! But not your legs, so let's go see the sp Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! No! I've told not what this is about. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotaged. Villagers will really love you now. Well, no, I don't give a f You know... And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. <laughs> <laughs> 